Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And we're going to look into something that you might remember if you've been following streaming for a long time. The app was called US TV Now. I recently ran across an app for Roku with the same basic branding. It was called US TV Now 360. I started looking into the service because US TV Now was only available as a private channel and it was blocked by Roku quite a while ago, 2018 to be exact. But now, if you look in their TV and movies section, you will find an app called US TV Now 360. It is an official Roku channel and like I said, it caught my eye because of the similar branding to its to the old US TV Now app. And, you know, now and then you find things that get picked up by somebody. Maybe a different company grabs it up and does something with a service. So we checked this out. And just want to let you know, this is not, in fact, that app that you remember from the old days. You see that it allows you to, you know, it encourages you to sign up. But the truth is, is that there's nothing to sign up for. You know, you can see from the screenshots that there are a number of channels listed. But as we jump into the channels, you'll see that you can access all of its channels seemingly for free. Now, are there more channels that you can access if you sign up for the actual service? I guess maybe. But if you look at the website, as we linked in an article on thestreamingadvisor.com, you will actually see that it lists about 21, 22, maybe more free feeds. You know, feeds that you can find in other free streaming services. But after that, it just says, and more, <laughs> and more. What is and more? I guess you find out if you're brave enough to plop down $7.99 with these guys. Because when you jump into the actual app, you see a, a fairly well laid out app. And it looks like other things like Pluto TV and, you know, Distro and Zumo, you know, and things like that that we've covered on the Streaming Advisor website and YouTube. But what you don't see is anything different than you find on those apps. And of course, those services don't try to get you to sign up for a subscription. For your subscription, if you dive into the website more deeply, you'll notice that it's more the ability to go back and watch programming that has played on one of these channels again. It has like a 28-day window where you can watch something again, along with the options to add DVR to record free streaming channels. So if you want to record Watch Mojo or Planet Eat, you can. But do you? I'm not criticizing the programming. Maybe that's the kind of thing that you really love. And you know, and if so, hey. If you find that it's worth it to pay $7.99 to record some of these channels, then you know, I'm not telling you not to. But what I can tell you is that I called the phone number associated with this service. And it is set up so that you never talk to a person. You're put on a brief hold when, and then told, you know, there are no representatives available to speak with you. Blah, 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 blah. Le leave a callback number and an email address and we'll get back to you. I decided not to. And oddly enough, 20 minutes later, I got our callback. Which was a little off-putting to me, to be honest with you, because I didn't leave any indication that I wanted to hear back from them. I was just making an initial call. So, I got a feeling that my phone number is somehow now associated with me, and they've got it. And who knows what they're going to do with it later on. I'll probably hear from more computer service repairmen or vehicle warranties or something like that. But, when I did talk to the person, he did explain that the app is you know a roku app it's an official roku app and that you know it works but he didn't have any more information for me as far as exactly what kind of programming you can receive i sent him on his way and moved on but 
that is what is out there. So should you sign up for it? Well, if you want to see the things that you saw in this video and you want to be able to record them, I guess you can sign up for it. But the thing is, is that I don't really trust an app or service that doesn't have a phone number where people actually answer. Yes, I did get the call back, but you know, name me a seriously you know, reputable service where you call a phone number that they have published and you don't get a person. That's a little weird. You know, sometimes it's very, 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 very busy and you'll have an option to have them call you back in a couple of minutes. But, you know, that wasn't the prompt here. And, like I said, it seemed to be a red flag to me. If it isn't for you, you know, proceed at your own caution. Keep in mind that if you get charged for something that you end up not wanting, you can always cancel it with your credit card. You can stop payments to the provider and things like that. But, it can be a headache. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. Share this with your friends. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.